So we have uh, a new product. Yeah. Yeah. A new product. It's a small one, but I think a small one, but it's, it's, it's one that has been on the, in the works for a long time Mm -hmm. and people have been asking for it for a while. Yeah. Let me introduce you to the Hydros X3S, S for salinity. Yep. You know, so it's a small device. It's the same size as the X2 in a wave engine LE. So it's the newest member of the family, of the mm-hmm. Hydros family. And uh, obviously it works with salt water, you know, yeah. salinity. Um, and the great thing about it is that it's a standalone product too, right? Dave? Exactly. It's it's, it's it's its own controller. So if you just want to uh, purchase a, a controller and that monitors your salinity, you can do that and have yeah. a couple of sense ports to to add to it as well. Temperature. Leak detector, Leak detector you know, yeah. whatever you want to do, whatever yeah. you want to do. Skimmer and, sensor, we, yeah, all of yeah. these little. In addition to, yeah. In, in addition to that is that it can also be part of a collective. Yeah. That's the main so, key. You can take this the little device now and tie it into your existing system seamlessly. Yeah. So That's those people now, point. so those people that have the X Pro X Four Pro Pack that they were holding out on purchasing because they don't need the X Ten or they don't need the launch, all of a sudden now you have this option to you you can just get this tiny little controller yep. that has an conductivity slash salinity port as well as to sense boards and uh, you could use it for temperature uh, leak detector water sensor skimmer sensor you know tds meter whatever you want like i said before it's the size of an x2 so it's two and three quarters tall by five inches wide that includes the mounting bracket and then two inches deep that's it yeah it's tiny tiny little guy um um, and it's ip65 right dave yeah the same like uh, our hydro rugged design of our hydros devices, um, splash resistant. Uh, another thing, it's a controller only. So when you purchase it, you're only going to get the controller. You're not going to get the probe or you're not going to get anything else. You're not going to get any cables or power supply. All you're going to get is the controller. And this is mainly because most people are probably going to end up using it as a as an, as an addition to the collective mm-hmm. instead of starting with this device you know, all right and the programming dave easy same as our all our hydros devices it's the intuitive easy to use hydros app yes and just like anything else with the hydros app the all the programming is stored in the device itself um, so you don't have to have wi-fi in order to run all those yep. you now if you if you enable the Wi-Fi on the Hydros, you get a, a, a bunch of additional features. One of the features is that you can actually store every configuration in the cloud. So when you when you save that configuration, the previous configuration that you just overrode or you changed is saved on the cloud. So if something happens, if the configuration didn't do right or you, the changes you did are not good enough or you don't like them, you can always revert back to the previous configuration or multiple previous configurations. Yep. So that makes it easy to restore. You know, also with the Wi-Fi connection, you get notifications. If something happens, if the salinity drops, if you, uh, you know, obviously temperature or your water sensor you know, are detecting no water or too low or too high temperature, you'll get a notification. So again, while the Wi-Fi, while the Hydros does not need Wi-Fi to work on a 24, 24-7 day, day basis, it does unlock a lot of very good features that that as when you purchase a controller, you want those features as mm-hmm. well. So I think you you'd be losing out if you don't if you don't connect the hydros to a to to an internet connection. Correct. What about graphing, Carlos? Is this uh, we see the, graphing data? Yeah, and the the great thing about it is that the XS the X three S uses the same Hydros app. So all the benefits from graphing 
from easy to use, easy to program, visualize. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all there. So this device uses the same app as the X4, as the launch, as the, as the XP8, which is great because you don't have to learn a new platform mm -hmm. because you get a new device. Right. Now, if somebody wants to connect this to their collective, will they need a another cable? Yes. Yes. So make sure that if you are purchasing this product and with the thought, that with the mindset that you are going to add it to the collective, make sure that you also purchase an additional command bus cable. Yeah. We sell them in one inch. Oh, I'm sorry, one inch, one foot, three feet, uh, six feet. 14 feet and then we have the data only cables which which you could you could actually email us and let us know how much you want and we'll create the cable for you mm -hmm. but do remember that if you are purchasing this uh, controller to be part of a collective as much as many people will uh, don't forget to get that command bus cable yeah yeah and the reason why we don't include the command bus cable with the controller is because we have different lengths and we don't know what people want. So at that point, they're not expensive. They're very inexpensive, but it allows you to, I know a lot of people, you, Dave, I know you are a big, uh, you know, cable management guy. Yeah. So, you know, you got to have the right length so that it keeps that aesthetic look that you want. Correct. Yeah. Uh, what's the price of the, uh, what's the retail price on yeah. the X3S? Two twenty four ninety nine. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's reasonable. It's reasonable. in today's day in today's <laughs> world for for a little computer. Exactly, you know, I think it is. Yeah, and yeah. Um, you know, just remember, it doesn't come with the connectivity Pro. You have to purchase that separately. Yeah, and, and we do have those. We offer a a a, a probe option. So yes, you're not just yes, married though to our probe. Um, there, there's plenty of them out there. Yes. So so maybe they, they have, need to make sure to to have the correct probe, the K factor. Yes. Imagine. Well, so that's I was going to get to that. Uh, it was uh, I was going to say that uh, as long as the probe comes with a BNC uh, yeah. connector, then you're going to be able to use it with uh, with hydros. Now, while the hydros will pretty much take any probe you want, uh, when it comes to salt water, we highly highly recommend that you go with a K ten factor probe yeah. um, and just a quick education on in probes the salinity probes are not created equally because yeah. salinity probes conductivity technically conductivity probes are used for different things from uh you know water quality so you have probes that could be used in wastewater which yeah. is very very dirty water and you have probes that could be used in cleaner water where you don't need the probe to be sensitive so that that range of sensitivity is called the K factor, um, and in, in uh, the correct K factor for saltwater fish tank for the for the application that we have is a K10. While it's more expensive, trust me, the quality is going to make a difference because yeah. then the probe was meant was designed to run in saltwater, and you're not trying to use a you know something that is for fresh water or, you know, RODI water into salt water. It's just not going to give you correct readings. Yeah. If you have any questions, please head on over to support. It's uh, You can go to support.coralview.com, or you can just send an email to support at coralview.com, which is the same thing. So if you have any questions on how to install it, if you have any questions in compatibility, hey, does, will this will this XS3, X3S work in my system? Please feel free to send us an email. We usually answer within couple of hours a couple of business hours let me remind that a couple <laughs> of business hours not a couple of hours <laughs> um so but yeah please and uh we will be happy to help you out we'll be happy to walk you through the process give you links to the instructions so we're here to help thank you so much for watching and listening yep. and uh until next time